Hello. This is the Organic and Natural Vegan. Today, I am going to talk about the Paleo Diet for Vegans. Hang on. Isn't the Paleo Diet all about grass-fed meat and eggs? Contrary to popular belief, our distant ancestors did not just eat roasted meat all day long. They would have had quite a varied diet, including wild berries, nuts and fruits in season, mushrooms and other fungi, wild roots and yams, wild seeds and grains. Organic honey or maple syrup would have been mixed with fruit and seeds to make delicious flapjacks to make any caveman's mouth water. It now seems that a vegan paleo diet is much more doable. The Organic and Natural Vegan is pleased to offer this free ebook, The Paleo Diet for Vegans. A seven day plan of 21 of the best recipes out there, including breakfast recipes, nutritious smoothies, warming curries, hearty soups, and lunch wraps. Here are just three recipes from the Diets for Vegans series. Watch till the end for your free download. and welcome to my channel in this video I'm gonna share a recipe with you for a soft psyllium flatbread the first ingredient is coconut flour coconut flour is very unique in that it doesn't perform the same as grain based flours it's very absorbent and tends to be quite dry which is where psyllium husk comes in 
Psyllium is a form of soluble fiber that provides not only elasticity but also binding. It works a bit like gluten in traditional baking. I'm also using a little bit of baking soda for leavening and olive oil for moisture. A little bit of warm water and we are ready to form the dough. Start by using a spatula to combine the wet and dry ingredients and then use your hands to knead the dough for about one minute. The dough should be moist and soft, becoming drier as you go. If the dough is too sticky, add more psyllium. The dough will always be a bit moist, but it shouldn't stick to your hands at all. It must come together as a soft, elastic dough. Also, I forgot to add salt earlier, so I'm adding it in right now. Set the dough aside for about 10 minutes and then cut it into 4 even pieces. Place one of the pieces between two pieces of parchment paper and flatten it out with the palm of your hand. You can either roll out the dough using a rolling pin or use a tortilla press. Feel free to roll out the dough into a thin tortilla or a thicker flat bread. Now, if this is your first time making this recipe, I would recommend that you roll out the dough a bit thicker and smaller, no more than 8 inches in diameter. The thicker and smaller the dough, the easier it is to handle. To make a perfectly round flatbread, place a plate on top of the rolled out dough and cut around it. Keep the outside dough for an extra flatbread. Cook the bread on a cast iron or a non-stick pan over medium heat. Add 1 teaspoon of olive oil to the pan and wrap the surface of the pan with a piece of an absorbent paper towel to get rid of any excess oil. You don't want the bread to fry. Cook it for about 2 minutes on the first side and then flip it over and cook it for 1 more minute on the other side. That's it. Enjoy this flatbread hot as a side dish or cold as a wrap later.